Hello friends, so we are again here with some more questions on combined signal operations. So in the previous videos we have discussed questions on combined signal operations. So here we have another question. So again this operation it is expressed as yt is equal to x2t plus 1. Now here also this uh, signal combined signal operation it is a combination of two individual signal operations first this is the signal xt okay so here the combined signal operation it involves first the original signal xt it has to be subjected to time shifting to obtain the time shifted signal xt plus 1 this is time shifting then this time shifted signal it has to be subjected to time scaling to get x2t plus 1 first time shifting then time scaling so if you notice the questions which we have discussed so far it involves a combination of multiple signal operations in the first three or four questions i think uh, it involved uh, time shifting amplitude scaling amplitude inversion then it was a combination of uh, amplitude scaling along with time scaling then we are here again with a combination of time shifting and time scaling so we are dealing with different combinations of signal operations not just a uh, similar type but different combinations so that when you get any question related to combined signal operations you don't get confused you know how to deal with it so you have to always in this case what you have to do is that you have to always figure out how to break it down the combined signal operation how to break it down into multiple steps so first you do time shifting xt to xt plus 1 then you do the time shifted signal you subject it to time scaling so we'll do it one by one so first is time shifting okay so first we do uh, time shifting this so here x t plus 1 so here the plus means the shifting will happen to the left and 1 means by 1 unit this so here what will happen is that this signal here it will shift by one unit to the left this is x t plus one so here it will be like this 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 is the time shifted signal the shifting happened one unit to the left now we have to subject it to time scaling so this is the first step time shifting then time scaling so you know in time scaling what happens in time scaling what happens is that if something is multiplied with t here 2 is multiplied with t it means that in the time axis all the values of t will be divided by that factor so here all the t values will be divided by 2 okay nothing will change in the 
amplitude side the amplitude will stay the same only the time values here it will be divided by 2 so 1 by 2 it will become 0 0.5 2 will become 1 so the signal it will be from 0 to 1 half of that which is here here it was from 0 to 2 but because of time scaling x 2t plus 1 2t it got divided by 2 okay 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 then 2 by 2 which is 1 and this is the time scaled signal x 2t plus 1 okay so this is the combined signal operation here this signal in order to perform this combined signal operation first we did time shifting then time scaling so one thing you can do whenever you get confused when, when it comes to dealing with combined signal expressions operation expressions what you can do is that you pick one end you pick one end then you move from one end to the other okay from one end to the other here from right side to left side so as you move from right side to left side pick the individual signal operations which appear so here as you move from right to left you first you see t plus 1 so you perform the signal operation xt to xt plus 1 first then you see x 2 t means time scaling so this you perform second x t plus 1 to x 2 t plus 1 so similarly if there would have been uh, another thing like uh, this let's add another uh, let's say 2x 2t plus 1 then the third operation would have been x 2t plus 1 to 2x 2t plus 1 that is amplitude scaling that is the third operation that would have been the third operation so like that if there would have been minus 2x let's say we add another minus to it then the fourth operation would have been 2x 2t plus 1 to minus 2x 2t plus 1 that would have been the fourth operation amplitude inversion so like that you always pick one end okay you pick one end of the expression move from right to left and perform the individual signal operations as you see it so that is the only way to simplify this whole thing okay so here we have another question on combined signal operation and this is the expression on which we have to uh, perform the combined signal operation so as you can see this expression it consists of uh, some individual signal operations which are combined together so if we break it down we will see how uh, we can uh, you know convert this this combined signal operation into two or three individual signal operations so like i said in uh, the previous question whenever something like this comes what you need to do is that you pick one end then from that end you move to the other okay from right to left and then you convert it into simple individual signal operations so here as we move from right to left we see it can be broken down into this first xt to x t minus 3 which is time shifting then x t minus 3 to x 3 t minus 3 which is time scaling okay 
then x 3t minus 3 to x minus 3t minus 3 which is time inversion or time reversal whatever you want to call it you can call it okay these three operations these three individual signal operations now in the previous question we did time shifting time scaling combination here another extra signal operation is uh, there which is time reversal so we'll do them one by one so first is time shifting we'll do it so here x time shifting so time shifting for that x t minus 3 it means shifting to the right right hand side by 3 units this so what will happen So here it is 0, here it is 3, here it is 6, here it is 9. This is 1. Shifting of this signal to the right by 3 units. So now when we shift it to the right by 3 units, the signal will start from 3. 1 amplitude of 1 will be at 6 and again it will drop to 0 at t equals to 9 this is the time shifted signal x t minus 3 okay next is time scaling x 3 t minus 3 so we know that in time scaling whenever something gets multiplied with the t it gets divided by the same factor in the time axis so here everything will get divided by 3 in this time shifted signal to get the time scaled signal nothing will change in the amplitude side so it will be this is x 3t minus 3 this is t this is 0 so we'll divide this by 3 this by 3 this by 3 this is 3 this is 2 this is 1 so 1 2 3 here it is 1 so the same thing now this this is the time scaled signal okay this is the time scaled signal now the third operation is time reversal which is x minus 3t minus 3 so for time reversal what we have to do time reversal so I have already discussed the time reversal individually that involves forming the mirror image of this signal about the uh, time axis as if a mirror is placed along this amplitude axis or y axis. So it will look something like this. X minus 3t minus 3 so 0 this is the time axis this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 here it is 1 so this this is the time reverse signal x minus 3t minus 3 so this is the result that we wanted 
So this original signal, in order to get this final result, we have to go through these three individual signal operations. So as you uh, practice more and more questions, what you can do is that you can either, you know, directly go to this result. You can do all of these in your brain. You, you know, you figure it out and then directly you can figure out that the final waveform will be like this. But that is after you practice more and more questions. You get acquainted with the whole thing. But if you are a beginner, you go by these three individual signal operations, go the lengthy way, do them individually and then get the final result. Okay, to understand how the individual signal operations are happening. Okay, 